again with a report they call it. What do you say on that? The report is uh, completely damn squid. When a guy tweet I said it's a damn squid. It's completely useless. And they made a big show two days before they announced uh, India something big is coming. And the, this is all trying to uh, rattle and spook the stock market. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to create a panic in the stock market in advance. Actually, there is nothing. There is no new material against uh, Adani. In fact, Mr. Hinden, Mr. Uh, uh, the, uh, the owner of uh, Hindenburg has actually disobeyed the Supreme Court because the Supreme Court has said that he must uh, that they must have a, said he must have an inquiry into the short sale and any laws in India which are violated. And he has been asked that by SETI in that connection. And he has not responded to it. Instead of responding it to it, he is now attacking the regulator chairman, Chepers, Mrs. Butch. That means he has no answer. And he's only repeated some old stuff. What he has said in his first report, he has repeated something, but there's nothing new. He's only attacked the regulator and said there's a conflict of interest. Or Kuch thing is. Uh, Sivi Chairperson has also given a legal clarification and has uh, put her side really, uh, in the public domain and she says that there is nothing which was concealed, there was nothing which was uh, out of the uh, regulations of the SEBI. So this is something which is possible uh, maligning her and her uh, husband. So what do you uh, think, what other legal remedies uh, are left with uh, Mrs. Butch in court of law? Well, I think Mrs. Butch has, uh, if, if this is all false and she's, uh, Hindenburg has alleged that there is a uh, case of conflict of interest, but in fact, none seems to be there. Right? And I'm awaiting her more detailed statement. She must file both a criminal defamation case and a civil defamation case against him in India. And uh, this is the contempt of the lawful authority of a public servant in India. By a foreign national, also. Who just because he's in a safe harbor. I mean, this is, you know, this is very petty chicanery. Without any responsibility or accountability, you sit in America, a safe, a safe harbor, you rely on third party reports, you have done no research yourself. Your research is only based on some other organizations. This is your research. Whether those are true or not, the evidentiary value, anybody can fake anything. One of the one of the third party institutions, the OOCRP, some of the material has been given to it by the lawyer for the petitioners in the Supreme Court, Mr. Prashant Bhushan. This is the kind of material. So, you know, a, a, band, a band of conspirators have got together, circulated information to each other. And this is supposed to be credible evidence. Intended actually, it's actually a very shallow conspiracy, but with deep ramifications to damage the stock market of India. And of course, both the reports, the one today and the one last time, have both been published by Hindenburg with much fanfare around the budgets of the two years. Teiska and Chobiska. So, what is the intention? Sir, uh, she has also mentioned uh, in her statement in the end that uh, Hindenburg has been given a show post notice and instead of replying that notice, they are just maligning Sebi and its chairperson for his personal uh, grudge against them. No personal grudge because he's caught. He's like a cornered rat now. Hindenburg is like a cornered rat. Action should be taken against him. Sebi must probe this much more deeply than they're doing. Retail investors have lost a lot of money and this is a concerted attempt not just to rock the stock market, de undermine our budget and cause, cause reputational damage to uh, Adani. So there is also one more thing that there is a very big hands clam of Hildenburg, especially in the position of India and since the report has come, they are all cheering it up and blaming SEBI government and all the authorities of India based on the report of Hildenburg. So what do you say to the leaders of opposition? Anybody? All those people who are relying on Hindu report are shallow brain because there is nothing in that report. One of the main allegations, and this is the whole fulcrum of the Hindu, Hindenburg report, is some DRI inquiry. That DRI inquiry is a fulcrum because all these people who are attacking the Adani group are saying that there was some money received by way of overvaluation of import of, import of power project equipment. That money laundering, right, was siphoned off in overseas entities, right, and then used by the Adani group uh, companies overseas through the Mauritius group to trade Adani shares in the stock market. But the fundamental basis for this allegation is destroyed by the fact that not only DRI, 
but appeal from DRI by CSTAT tribunal and by the Supreme Court have all said there is no over invoicing. If there is no over, over invoicing, there is no money to be siphoned, to be taken abroad, to be brought to the Morish route and to trade in the Adani shares. The whole thing is a zero. So it's a circle which is going on and on and on. So there should be a first of all, first report of Hindenburg, which was slammed by Supreme Court. You should take out the, you should file a serious case against Mr. Hindenburg and take out extradition proceedings by USA. Uh, sir, I'm going to take this all.